Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my beautiful friend Michaela, and we're gonna do her hair today. So I did her hair a couple of months ago now, and so what we did, she was originally brunette, and so we did some balayage highlights and toned it and everything, but the thing is with a toner, it fades over time. And last week we went um, hiking and got sunburned <laughs> on a side note <laughs> like severely sunburned but I also noticed in the sun that her hair was turning a little bit brassy and that happens especially if you're originally a brunette and you get highlights and by brass I mean it could turn like orangey it could start to look orangey or else since this is a little bit lighter it could start to look a little yellow and if you're not going for that look and most people are not then you, all you need to do is tone the hair. So today I am going to actually, I'm not just gonna tone her hair. At first I'm gonna pull some a few low lights through because I want to make the blonde look better. So with blondes, it's good to have some low lights coming through just so it looks more um, natural. It adds dimension when you have some low lights coming through the hair. So we're gonna pull some low lights through her hair that are that's closer to her natural color, which is up here. And then after we do that, um, we're gonna add a toner to cancel out any brass or yellow or orangey tones that may be in her hair now. And we're just gonna make it look bomb again. So um, yeah, this is something that I get um, requests a lot for. People email me all the time, what can I do? My hair is brassy, I got highlights and I hate it. So we're gonna talk about that today. So we're gonna get started and yeah. mixing about 40 grams of 4N and this is um, Redken Shades EQ, my favorite gloss or toner in the whole entire world. So this is technically a demi permanent so there's no commitment when you're using Redken Shades EQ like it stays in for a long time but it's not like a, it's not like using a permanent dye. So I love it. I dye my own hair with it and yeah, it's just freaking amazing. But I'm mixing a 4N, which is um, actually the same kind of brown that I currently have on my hair. So um, Michaela's natural root color is about a level five, but I went a little bit deeper with a level four so that way it gives it a little bit more pigment so that way she has room to fade. So we are gonna start applying these foils. Um, excuse my neighbors, like just, loudness i'm just kidding is loudness a word i don't know but um just ignore that ignore the blow dryer ignore all of that um so i'm just gonna part the hair i'm gonna start um putting the foils in in the back rather than the front usually when i start highlights i start in the front but um since we're not working with bleach i would usually start in the front just because if I'm working with bleach, I definitely want the front to be lighter, you know, because that's the part that matters. Um, because bleach will keep processing as long as it's wet. So it's just going to stay processing. So um, with Redken Shades EQ, uh, you process it for 20 minutes. But it could stay in a little bit longer. It's not going to hurt the hair at all. Um, and there's only so dark, so deep that it will get. So it's not a big deal. And we're not going to do like a full head of highlights anyway. We're just... Putting in a couple low lights. I'm using my Color Track Crocodile Clips, which I love for holding a lot of hair. And I like I love these little clips for holding a little bit of hair. But yeah, as you can see, her hair here, I mean, it's even lighter. It's weird because the back of her hair right here is lighter than up here, <laughs> her roots. Um, and usually it's the other way around. But yeah, her hair is like a level, of, like, eh, back here is like a level of six naturally but yeah like i said we're gonna do a level four with the redken shades eq 
because I want this toner to last, right? So um, we're gonna get a big piece like that and we're gonna put some chunky low lights. Like that. So as you can see, that's the size of the strand. Now, usually I would have these pre-folded, but I don't today, but that's okay. So we're just gonna put it there, grab our brush. And you know, the woman who trained me to do color, she always said that if you're a good colorist, you should keep your comb, you, you should be able to keep your comb in your hand at the same time as your brush. So. I try to do that because it cuts back on time and all of that. But baby steps, right? <laughs> so you get that, get the end of the hair, bring it up, and just basically you want to saturate the hair. And we're gonna fold it up, fold it up again. Uh, yeah. So the technique to put in low lights is going to be not as, you know, it doesn't have to be as uh, clean as if you were working with bleach because bleach ain't no joke, okay? That's why you guys should never bleach your hair at home. Bleach can get very messy, can leave like permanent spots it can burn your hair out it can burn your scalp off like so many things could go wrong with bleach but with um a toner like this um you know you could quickly put in some chunky low lights and like i said the foils don't have to be perfect but let me double fold that one i'm gonna do a couple more and then i'm gonna shut up and just through this. I just took out all the foils in Michaela's hair and as you can see, look at those low lights. They look a little dark right now, but we're gonna shampoo, we're gonna tone everything and it's all gonna be wonderful. It's a little hard for me to shampoo on this side because I'm right-handed, but I had to put the camera there. So I feel like I'm like drunk or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like I'm like, trying to <laughs> do something that's just weird. This is so weird. We're just gonna towel dry the hair. Make sure it's nice and like wrung out. 
The toner that I mixed, it's Redken Shade DQ. This one is, I mixed um, mostly Aiden. I mixed about two ounces of Aiden with like three quarters of an ounce of, no, more like half an ounce of 8V and then three quarters of an ounce of um, clear. So it's all in the level eight family. So the reason why I mixed 8V so violet cancels out yellow. So it'll help neutralize it. And whenever you're working with 8V or 9V or violet, anything like that, and you're just using it as, as a toner at the bowl, you want to work quickly because since it's violet, it could tend to look gray if you leave it on for a long time, which isn't bad if you're going for like the gray hair trend. But that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> so we just want to cancel out the brass and neutralize it, make it more of a cool or neutral tone. Since this is mixed with Aiden, it's not going to be too cray. I don't have to worry about it turning gray instantly. So I'm going to probably leave this on for about like five to ten minutes. I'm just going to watch it every five minutes. I'm going to check it. But um, it's looking good. All right. So it's been about ten minutes. And as you can see, look at that non-brassy color though. See? It's still blonde, it's still beautiful, except it's not orange or yellow, whatever. So, and it looks a little bit deeper here, but when we blow dry it and everything, you'll see how light it is. So we're gonna rinse this from the hair, do like a light shampoo, and then condition, etc. Now that we shampooed and conditioned and all that stuff, we are gonna, of course, finish everything with a nice blowout. So, I feel like I should do an in-depth tutorial on a blowout alone. But, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna first detangle the hair with my trusty wet brush, which you can purchase from Sally's just detangle the hair and then what I'm gonna use on Michaela's hair today I'm gonna use um, the bamboo candy oil and this helps control frizz I like using this I'm literally getting the last of it out because I use it so much I'm gonna get some of that put it on the ends to protect them and hydrate and all of that and then I'm also gonna get this Bumble and Bumble uh, hair dressers invisible oil. So this is a heat and UV protective primer. So I love using this stuff for the summer. And also it helps to lock in your hair color, which, okay. you know, that's important, especially, like I said, with toners, what, color's just gonna fade. It's always gonna fade. So, especially now that, you know, you might be out in the sun. I mean, I guess when you live in California, you're always out <laughs> in the sun. You can't avoid it, right? So, yeah, we're just going to start.
this is the final product. As you can see, there's a smoother transition from the dark root to the blonde. It's not just like a huge line of demarcation. And the way we got rid of that is by doing low light. So if you look at the hair, you can't necessarily, you don't necessarily see like, oh, it's like a bunch of chunky stripes. Like when you look at it with the naked eye, you can't tell. So um, that'll help with that if you're starting to feel like your blonde has outgrown or has grown out. Um, and then obviously the tone is different so it's still blonde it's still rich it's, it's more natural or neutral now versus before it was very yellow so I think that this is definitely a lot better with her skin tone and eye color look at her freaking face that is it for this video if you guys would like to see more hair color videos or hair cutting videos anything like that or if this video is helpful um, please leave it in a comment let me know um, because I'm still getting the hang of doing these professional hair videos um, let me know if the things that I'm talking about are totally going over your head when I'm saying like 8v and all this um, formula stuff like let me know how I can explain things better for you guys to understand especially if you're um, a cosmetologist or you're in school or something like that so let me know if I'm making sense or if I'm not making sense um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys will see me in my next thank you for watching bye